The streets of New York's Spanish Harlem. Hot, crowded, dirty, dull. Only the most dynamic catalyst can alter the scene. On this particular morning, a very remarkable catalyst has materialized. The arrival of a motion picture company promises a break in the monotony of ghetto life. The film company will be here only a few weeks. But for two local Puerto Rican boys, the filming is an event that may permanently change their lives. Abraham Rodriguez, a Puerto Rican widower and father of two young boys. Abraham would do anything to get his sons out of El Barrio. Anything. Good boys. Good kids. Junior's 11. Both good in school. Luis is 9. Good in mathematics. Junior plays the saxophone in school and art. Good kids. You want these boys? I'll give them to you. Sign the papers, everything. You think I'm joking? I'm not joking. Nice kids. Don't give you no trouble. Look, I give away his children. Every day, everybody in this neighborhood gives his kids away to the street. Boys need a mother. Mother, to hold them and kiss them and comb their hair and give them hot cereal. I had a mother. Junkies and pimps have mothers. I'm their father. I got to think about their life. Abraham Rodriguez, played by Alan Arkin, has a dream to free his sons from the ghetto. His plan is sad, funny, and preposterous. What the hell do I know about it? I've never been in a boat in my life. With the highly versatile Alan Arkin as Poppy, producer Bert Leonard and director Arthur Hiller had an actor who could bring warmth and believability to a role. In Rita Marino, they had an Academy Award co-star. But for the important roles of Arkin's sons, the producer and director wanted two unknowns. The job of finding two uniquely talented youngsters who could hold their own with an Alan Arkin fell to veteran casting director Marion Doherty. She began by screening thousands of prospects in the schools of Spanish Harlem. We're going to be making a movie. We are looking for some girls and boys because we have jobs for them. Mr. Ramos is going to ask those that we think might be right for us to come, and we'll tell you a little bit more about the film at that time. 300 most likelies were invited to a neighborhood boys club to meet Poppy's filmmakers. boys, it was a game, nothing to be taken too seriously. To the searchers, however, the auditions were vital. The success of Poppy depended on finding the right two boys. A week was spent in interviewing and singling out the hundreds of applicants. Personal charisma combined with acting potential were the quality sought. A vast audience would have to love Poppy's sons. At the end of the interview week, a dozen finalists were sent to Donald Buca for a cram course in movie acting. Must believe everything he said. Mr. Buca used improvisations to determine how well his actors could act on various emotional levels. You know that mom is the only thing that we've got. She's all right. I got hit by a car. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, gotcha. Selective games serve to relax the boys while testing their reflexes and talents as mimics. Step, 
they were nurtured towards the rigid demands of a scripted scene. Okay, what do you say first when I say that? That's all there was with Mr. Buca and acting class. For their final exam, a screen test with Alan Arkin, the boys are given the professional treatment. Lights are low key for night scenes. Director and crew crowd in on the actors. But it is here that the boys will be chosen. It is the final hurdle. interviewed cleared the hurdle. Ten-year-old Miguel Alejandro and nine-year-old Ruben Figueroa, two Puerto Rican youngsters from New York City, are now in the movies. Mike and Ruben have been catapulted into a unique adventure with an exciting mixture of hard work and glamour inside a playground few youngsters ever get to see. The film story of Poppy is fiction. But the production is a real life adventure for Mike and Ruben. For them, it is one summer of stardom. Mm -hmm.